Staying at the um, the Hyatt on Sunset, which is sort of like a, I guess an old school um, hotel that was sort of a place where a lot of bands stayed back in the day, like Led Zeppelin. And <laughs> it's a bit of a crazy place, a bit more subdued these days. But I remember we we turned up um, one evening and um, and there seemed to be this crazy commotion out, or just sort of next to the hotel actually. There's sort of a bar, I guess, sort of in the lobby or just off to the side. And um, and yeah, there was like, I can't remember who was there. I think it was like Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake owned the bar or something, and and we pretty much got bowled over by um, like Eminem and and there was like Vincent Gallo. Vincent I remember Gallo Gallo Vincent was Gallo. That was really cool because we were like big Vincent Gallo fans. I remember he was getting into the cab we were getting out of or something. Oh yeah, I'm surprised he didn't try and or something but um but yeah so it was it was very surreal like just seeing all these paparazzi outside his hotel like we struggled to even get into the lobby of the owner of the you know our own hotel but yeah it was very strange most awkward celebrity moment i think maybe nick cave is going to take the, uh, <laughs> the prize for this one yeah it's hilarious well i met at a backstage uh sort of area a festival we played in ireland and uh and he turned up to the the, the sort of meal buffet thing. I think he was looking for some dessert. He's like, oh, there's no dessert left. And I said, oh, there's some fruit left. And he just totally ignored me. I couldn't tell whether he heard me and just sort of, you know, it, it I care not for fruit. Disapproving look of like suggesting fruit. He probably wanted like and I sort of black there forest for cake or something. Yeah, something something gothic. <laughs> and, and when I said fruit, he was just offended by it, I think. It so I had to scuttle off after that. Have you ever been confused, either of you, for anybody else? Tim, actually, my friend Tim here. Every, everyone, Tim. Mm -hmm. uh, he he was mind? getting confused as, as uh, I think um, someone from another famous Australian band. Oh, uh, yeah. Called Grinspoon. Yeah, for some reason I used to constantly get, yeah, people thought I was like Phil, Phil from Grinspoon, which I think we actually kind of grew up around the same area, like around this more Byron area. Um, but yeah, for years I used to constantly get that. And, uh, Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead, I got a little bit. But Dan, now I know one, is the the bad guy in the Karate Kid film. The You know, the one that says, sweep the leg, LaRusso. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> he constantly gets recognised as the I bad guy from Karate Kid. One of our first reviews, actually, <laughs> made reference to that. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I'll, I'll take that one. Okay.